In my previous video, I gave an introduction to AVR assembly programming using Arduino IDE and Arduino Uno. A simple assembly program was developed to blink an LED connected to a digital pin of the Uno. In this part 2 video, the ATmega328 hardware organization and instruction set are further explained. In addition, an assembly code is executed to blink RGB LED via three push buttons. This block diagram shows the memory map of the 80 mega microcontroller. In this video we will focus on the first 32 bytes of memory which contain the general purpose registers R0 to R31. In future videos we'll look at the other parts of memory such as the standard I.O. registers which contain the special function registers. These general purpose registers are used by the processor to perform different operations such as arithmetic and logic, data transfer and so on. Therefore, to write efficient assembly code we need to understand how to properly use these registers. These registers are split into two parts. The first part are registers from R0 to R15 and the second part from R16 to R31. They are split based on the way they are used and their functionalities. Registers from R16 to R31 are more versatile and useful than registers from R0 to R15. So for example these registers work with immediate data, meaning that we can store a byte into these registers or a word. To store a word we have to use one of the three pair registers X, Y and Z. On the other hand, registers from R0 to R15 are less versatile and have limited functionalities. So for example we cannot store into these registers immediate numbers but they work with indirect addressing meaning that we can store a byte into these uh, registers a byte located at a memory location. So to recap registers from R0 to R15 work with indirect addressing while registers 16 to 31 work with immediate data. To demonstrate this, let's have a look at this code here. This instruction LDI, which is load data immediate, it will copy this byte into the destination which is register 16. Now this is a valid statement. If we compile it, the compilation is OK. Now if we change this to 15, we have now an invalid uh, instruction. If we compile, we get compilation error and it says here register number above 15 required. This next demonstration shows you how we can do indirect uh, memory addressing for registers from R0 to R15 by using the LDS opcode which is load direct from data space. So this instruction will copy the byte located at memory address 200 and store it in the destination register R12. Now this is a valid instruction. If we compile, the compilation is OK. Another limitation for registers R0 to R15 plus these two registers 16 and 17 is that their content must not be changed by a function and if the values are changed then the function must restore their values before function return. Registers from R18 to R31 can be used by any function and their values can be changed without any problems. The three word registers X, Y and Z can deal with indirect addressing in addition to dealing with immediate data, which makes them very versatile. Register Y can also be used as a frame pointer, which can be used to store the frame of a function. 
registers R0 and R1 store the 16-bit result of a multiplication performed by the opcode MUL. So MUL will multiply two bytes and the result is a 16-bit number where the low byte is stored in R0 and the high byte is stored in R1. In this video, Arduino Uno is programmed using assembly which is loaded onto the microcontroller using the Arduino IDE. We have three push buttons connected to three digital pins which controls the on-off of RGB LED connected to three digital pins. The circuit operates as follows. When we press the red button, the red LED will blink 10 times and then turn off. When we press the green, the green LED will blink 10 times and the blue button will blink the blue LED 10 times. A quick look at the codes used. This is the C code part which is contained within the INO file and this is the assembly code which is contained within the S file. The program will call function start and jump to the S file which contains the assembly code and it goes to this label start and here using the SBI instruction which is set bit in IO register it will set the ports PB4, PB3 and PB2 which means that uh, pins D12, D11 and D10 on the Arduino will be output pins. Instruction CBI which is uh, clear bit in IO register will clear the uh, ports PD2, PD3, and PD4. In other words, digital pins 2, 3, and 4 on the Arduino board will be input pins. And then the program will return to the set of function. Back inside the loop function, this function will be called and the program will jump to the S file and we go to label button LED and then this instruction is executed which uses the opcode SBIC this is skip if bit in IO register is cleared in other words it will check the operand here which is uh, port D2 if it is 0 or 1 if it is 0 then this next instruction will be skipped if it is 1 then this instruction will be executed so if the push button connected to uh, pin D2 is not pressed then this instruction will be ignored and the next instruction is executed which is another SBIC but this time we check port D3 if the button is not pressed then we have logic 0 so this instruction will be ignored and we go to the next instruction which checks port D4 if the button is not pressed we have zero then this instruction will be skipped and we go to this uh, relative jump instruction which will jump back to the label button LED and this process continues while the buttons have not been pressed when we press the push button connected to pin D2 then this next instruction will be executed which is relative jump to label red LED on which is here and inside the subroutine this instruction is executed which is load uh, immediate data where the decimal value of 10 is copied into register R21 which is used as a counter so this is the initial value of the counter because we want to blink the LED 10 times this instruction will set uh, port PB4 to 1 which will turn on the red LED and then we call this uh, function my delay to apply a delay in milliseconds and then we clear the port PB4 to turn off the LED and then apply some delay and then we subtract the register value R21 by 1 and then check if the result of subtraction is non-zero then this instruction 
branch uh, not equal will be executed and the program will jump to this label red again and the loop continues until the value of R21 after subtraction is 0 so the next will be this instruction where the program will jump to label button LED which is here if we press the button connected to the digital pin D3 then this relative jump will be executed and the program will jump to this label green LED on and we have the blinking of the LED 10 times when the button connected to digital pin D4 is uh, pressed then this relative jump is executed and the program will jump to blue LED on which is here and then we have the blinking of the blue LED 10 times finally subroutine my delay which was explained in detail in my previous video uses a nested loop to give the appropriate delay in milliseconds for the sake of comparison I wrote the same program but this time using only C language and after compilation noted that the sketch used 3% of flash memory while the assembly code after compilation used only 1% so this confirms that assembly code uses less memory than C code in my next video I'll look at the instruction set of the 80 mega microcontroller aided with assembly code examples thank you for watching